The idea for Hidden Order actually came right after 9-11. I was supposed to go on vacation with my wife and we got stranded on the East Coast and we wound up on this little island where a mystery was shared with me. And I was blown away. I had never heard of this before and it had all the perfect elements for a fantastic thriller. There was deceit, there was deception, double dealing, plot twists, action. And so I took this idea and I held on to it for over a decade because I knew the time was not right yet to write this book. But now today, this book is more timely than anything else I've ever written. Now, the bad guy in this book, the bad malevolent force that permeates the entire novel is something all of us know about. I mean, I've written about the NSA, I've written about the CIA, but there's actually an organization that's more secretive, more powerful. Some have even said it's even more powerful than the United States government itself. This is a group that touches all of our lives daily. You right now, at this very moment, are carrying clues on your person to who this group is and what they want to do to the United States and to the rest of the world. There's also a question that my readers have had since book number one about my main character, Scott Harvath. They are gonna get answers to that question. They're gonna see what they wanna see in Hidden Order.